Hi folks, welcome to the Ecoscience Schools Day. 2012 we had the first Ecoscience Schools Day, tied in with National Science Week. You're going to have your minds open up to all these different things. And we ended up having about 250, 300 kids at that first one. And we kept on doing it as part of the Eco Fair over the years. And eventually we we're getting to the point where demand was uh, well and truly outstripping supply. And so we ended up last year, for the first year, we ended up getting some funding from the Northern Territory Government from the Environment Grants to enable us to do two days. And so last year we had nearly 600 students here. And then this year we got the funding again for two days. And we ended up with nearly 900 students this year. And so it's definitely a very popular program for the kids to get out of the classroom and learn about all different things from engineering, health sciences, uh, primary industries and agricultural sciences, how uh, solar panels and energy works, uh, biodiversity as well. So there's a whole range of different things kids are learning. And uh, it's great to actually be a part of it. It's part of uh, the important work that the Arid Lands Environment Centre does, which is educating the community and to enable the, the next generation of leaders to have a good uh, background in science literacy and a good understanding of this place and how it works. Think about connection. Think about how we need the plants to provide the flowers to feed the bees, which take the pollen and turn it into honey, which feeds animals and birds, which take seeds that then... I brought my year three fours last year. I uh, found it such a rewarding experience for them that I, as the health PE teacher and everything this year, I decided to bring another class. <laughs> Sitting in a classroom is so, n it's not the kids. Who wants to be in the four walls? So going outside and just running around, learning through the environment and connecting with it is just exactly what the kids need to fulfill everything in their little souls. And that's how they heat up their hive overnight. They all buzz and shake their bodies all together. <laughs> They're so engaged and they're just loving it. They were so excited to, all they asked me is, are we seeing the doctors? Are we seeing the doctors? Well, hey everyone, we are Sharp. We are the Students' Health Alliance for Okay. <laughs> Can we get some help over here? What do we need to do? He's in the ambulance. Paramedic. Paramedic. Yeah. 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 Are you okay to get up? He's yeah. 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 okay. yeah. 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 really committed to this acting. <laughs> <laughs> We are health students, so we study science, um, pre-medicine, nursing, social work, and we all have an interest in working one day in a rural or remote area. So we're here today at the Eco Fair, uh, really teaching kids a little bit about health. Has anyone ever heard of an anaesthetist? No. These doctors are great. They're just so connected to the kids, and they're making it fun for them, so they understand that so, hospitals aren't scary and doctors aren't scary. So that it gives them an opportunity to experience new things and put them onto a different path that may, they may not think to do. There's no better classroom than right here, deeply immersed in nature. How can we get kids to love the world they live in unless we immerse them in it? And a day like today puts them in front of people that can connect them with nature and give them career pathways and a future that is inclusive with nature.